If you have back pain, like so many others, then you are in the right place because I will show you two Liebsche and Bracht exercises that give you a good chance of getting rid of it. And Renee's back to help me. He'll do these exercises and you can follow along. I'll explain it to Renee also for you. Join in directly, take the opportunity. I'll ask a few, don't you worry. Renee, please stand diagonally sideways to the camera. Now let's do the following. Please put one foot, the right one, Renee. The right one? Yes, half a step back. Yes. Take your right hand to your right buttock. On the buttocks. And the left hand here on the navel. And now, here's what you do. Press the belly button back. And you do that now. And you at home do the same, please. You do that now. Stop. I'm just pushing the right hip forward. That means the left side doesn't move, but I have. You ignore the left and push forward on the right. Do I tilt or do I slide? You slide forward here and you tilt over with your belly button until here in front of this area. Okay. Very precise. And now the exercise begins. Now the exercise starts and now it's about gradually increasing the stretching pain that you feel here in the front. It always has to be positive. Always stay in the green zone, so to speak. Breathe nicely. Also stand comfortably. And simply now let the tissue, the muscles, the fascia have the opportunity to give in because that should become supple. Yes, we are now going to stretch the hip flexor, which is always shortened when sitting on the right side so that it relaxes and we believe it is the main cause of lower back pain. Yes, always keep moving forward and really tighten your stomach, Renee. Tighten it properly. What, do I have to leave it straight with the leg? Probably down there, right? Relatively straight, relatively straight. May also be slightly bent. It is important that here this groin stretching pain is triggered because it shows that we are pulling at the right end. As I said, it must be positive. Continue stretching further and now let's start. Now try with your right foot, which is firmly stuck to the ground. Try pulling it forward. And then you'll notice that the pull here is a bit... I'm not lifting, do you mean? No, no, you stay exactly as you are. But you apply force into the leg that wants to pull the foot forward. Ah, I understand. Oh, yes. Do you notice that? Yes. You notice it too. Exactly. Please tense that. Then you let go and go a little further into the stretch. But your face shows me that you are already at the limit. Don't overdo it. Yes. Continuing the stretch means moving the hip a little further forward. And navel and abdomen back. Further back. Exactly. But you still have to be able to smile. You must be able to smile so that it doesn't get too intense. And pull the foot forward again. Pull the foot forward. I don't smile anymore, Roland then it is too much. Always stay below the border of not being able to smile anymore. And then you slowly go out again. Intense, right? Oh, yes. Okay. Move your legs a little so that everything loosens up a bit. And now let's go to the other side. There to the camera. And now you go back to the left. Left back. Left hand on the buttocks. And right. Right hand on the navel. And now again the same. Push the groin forward. Do you already feel the stretching? Yes. Okay. Oh God, now the stretching begins. Nice and further in. I should just press my buttocks in a little, right? Yes, you are practically pushing your buttocks forward. Buttocks. Yes, exactly. Your buttocks in. And use your hand to pull the stomach back so that you practically bend at the hip joint axis. Because then it means that the hip flexor must lengthen in order to allow the movement. And we consider this to be a very, very important point in order to eliminate back pain, or at least to reduce it. Yes, keep going further back. Breathe deeply, deep in, deep out. When do I start with this lifting you mentioned earlier? Do I do it right at the beginning? No, what kind of lifting? 
with the right leg there forward. This is not lifting. Do you mean the tensioning? Yes. I have heard lifting off again now. After approximately one minute. You just continue. You just continue. I'm telling you. Yes. Just still bearable. Just still comfortable pain. Your face is a bit too tense. Because I've been doing it for more than a minute, Roland. Yes, but then no, the time doesn't matter. Then go out a little. Okay. Let me explain this a little. So... In the right intensity, you can do such an exercise for an hour. Yes? Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, if it's too intense, it doesn't work. And that's why it's a sign. If you have to stop exercising too early, then the intensity was too high. That's a good tip, you know? Yes. So, and now you try to pull your left foot forward again. Wow. No, that is too strenuous. I can already feel it. Yes. That is too strained. If you exert yourself similarly to René, the breathing is already a bit more strained. It's too much. A little less. Go out of the stretch a little bit. Yes. Then you will feel more comfortable. And then it continues. Pull the left foot forward. Pull it forward again. Smile, because smiling is an important parameter. If it is still possible, it can't be too much. There must be a really warm smile. And relax again. And now just run back and forth a little bit. Two steps over there. Yes. Then turn around here towards the wall. Feel inside. That is super intense. Yes. But you can also tell that you have done something. So it's really good that you exaggerated it a bit too, because you must not do it as intensely as René did. Stay a little further down. Because always remember, you only do these exercises regularly when it's a bit painful, but still positively painful. If it is negative, as it was with you, then one loses interest in it and does not do it. Don't do that to yourself. That's correct. Now we will do the next exercise right away. And we do that on the mat or on a soft, thick carpet. Please sit down like René and now simply raise your legs and bend your knees to 90 degrees. Oh, yes. Exactly. And then let the legs fall loosely apart and the soles of the feet against each other. So, and now you practically reach for the front of the foot with both hands. And that's fine for now. Can you reach it at all? If you can't reach it, you might have to use the loop or a towel and extend your arms a bit then. When you reach it, then you grab and feel inside. If it is very loose, then you move back a little on your buttocks. Not too much. Slowly go back and go back until you feel the tension starting. And then the exercise only begins. First, you go into the position that you can do the exercise well. It would be tight for me here now. Is that correct? This can tighten there. It can also tighten, especially in the back, in this whole area. Pull yourself forward more and more. Do I sit with a straight back? No. No? You can round your back, especially here. So up here, you don't need to put in so much effort to round it, because down here, it's about this position. And that's where the tension should arise now. Yes. Do you feel that too? Yes. OK. Now breathe in. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, when the muscles relax, then pull in a little more. And let's do that for a while. I have to make sure that I also stay at 90 degrees. That is definitely important, right? With the knees? Yes. No. So can I pull myself a little closer? When you move forward more and more, you run with your buttocks further back. Yes. Keep running further back quietly. But then I don't have 90 degrees anymore. That's clear. Yes, yes. That is only at the beginning. Ah, uh, now I understand your question. The 90 degrees are only important for the starting position, and afterwards you can move in another angle. Breathe nicely, focus on it, and above all, give in here, give in in the lower back. Where the back pain is usually felt, that's where we want to eliminate this tension. Breathe beautifully deep in, deep out. And now let's start slowly. You hold on tight so that you don't move a millimeter with your torso and pull with the lower back muscles. Pull yourself back. What about the lower back muscles? By simply trying to go backwards with the torso. How do I control the lower back muscles? Yes, but you hold tight. I hold on? Yes, you must not move a millimeter. Just pull, then release and continue forward. Does that work then? Yes, that is actually possible. You can always bend your arms more, or if that becomes too easy and your arms need to be more bent, 
you simply walk a little further back with your buttocks. Okay, and again, you tense up backwards, tense up backwards, but don't allow any movement. Relax again, let go, and pull yourself further forward. Here you would have to pull now, right? Yes, not only there, also as I said here too. Okay, that's fine, but always make sure no matter where it pulls, it must not pull more than just positively tolerable, okay? And one last time, you pull again. But I can't overextend anything through this, can I? Relax and pull yourself forward. No, not at all. If you take it slow, if you feel it inside, everything is fine and then slowly come out again. And now finally we will do a special exercise. And that is that you can also do something against your back pain while relaxing. And then you either take a back saver or you take a few books that you simply stack on top of each other. What are you doing with these books? You lie like Rene. Now lift your buttocks off the ground and then place yourself under the sacrum. Feel for yourself, Rene. Where is your sacrum? Above the coccyx? Above the coccyx one can feel, and directly above it is the sacrum. And then you lie down on it and slowly stretch your legs and feel it. Yes. And now the tension should be palpable. You should feel the tension here and here above all. And the great thing is now you are stretching exactly the muscle that, in our experience, very often has something to do with lower back pain, namely the hip flexor. And without doing anything. You can read, you can watch TV, you just lie there. Now relax, that means stay lying down, or rather take the time to share this video, because so many of your friends, acquaintances, colleagues and so on also have back pain. Please share it among them. Now let's step it up a bit in this exercise. Namely, you lie like this and just that already stretches a lot. But now you do the following. Now try to lift your left and right foot and your shoulders, but only start the attempt. Then you will notice that everything is relieved. Yes, but start the attempt. So the feet. Well, it's good that you didn't do it the way I wanted. The feet shouldn't lift off. They should only be about to take off. There is no movement. And here as well, you tense up, slowly tighten, and just before taking off, you stop and relax again. Is it time to rest again? Yes. And we do the whole thing again. Slowly ramp up, not suddenly or very quickly, but gently raise and relax again. because this brings the muscles back to this greater length caused by this stretching position to take this greater length again better and more willingly. And again, tense up a little and then relax. All right, and now I have something else for you, namely our guide, our back pain guide. You can read everything again. Goodbye until next time. Goodbye, my dears. Until next time.